Hey guys, this is Katrina Lee with IDA TV here at San Diego Comic Con and I'm here with Don and Karen Pound who are artists and illustrators for Garbage Pail Kids. How's that? Oh, well it's been overwhelming here at this convention. I, I used to come to the early ones and they were real little conventions. And this is just grow this is growing huge and I, I'm used to just working in alone in the studio doing my art in a, you know, day after day, so how about Karen here? Yeah. Well, I'm having a great time because I'm not the center of interest, which is nice. I can just kind of observe everything, and it's relaxing. Great. So how was your experience working for, you know, artists and, like, the Garbage Pail Kids? Um, that, was, that was very lucky. I really enjoyed working on Garbage Pail Kids. I had a background in cartooning underground comics and fantasy book covers and comic covers. And some of the work I was doing was serious fantasy, and I just was craving doing humor. And then a few months later, I get this call from Art Spiegelman at Topps Company in New York, and, and he said, how about some wacky packages? I did a few of those. The, um, one of them was a Garbage Pail Kid concept, which they decided not to use as a wacky package. But they wanted to see if we could do a series of them. They tried out a few artists. I. They liked what I turned in, and I just gave them a stack of ideas, maybe 35 or 40 pages of sketches and names and lists of things like monsters. You know, it's been such a success, you know, for the both of you, and how do you come up with these ideas or these colors, you know? I mean, as an artist, I used to be in, you know, wanting to do creative stuff like that too, but, you know, to be able to bring that onto paper, what is your inspiration? Oh, man. Every, well, pretty much everywhere. I, I, I used to read comics and watch TV cartoons, and this would be in the, well, you know, in the 50s and 60s and early 70s when I was starting out. So pop culture, um, I liked I liked word jokes. So just short combinations of words, stupid, dumb jokes, puns. Sometimes they don't go over real well. How about you, Karen? Um, well, one I think was kind of fun is that we were taking our grandchildren on a trip, and we were talking about Garbage Pill Kids, and John was saying, well, do you, do you guys have any ideas, you know? And they're like seven and like that. And, and this, our one grandson said, which one was it that he oh, said? Okay, Dakota came up with the idea for a character that would put his hand through his head and, and, and out his mouth and up the nose, the finger it. up the nose. <laughs> And they used, used it, it. So and I then gave, John, gave him an idea fee. He, he, he paid our grandson for it, so that was... Well, I was going to ask, so like, you know, your grandson came up with, so did you give him any money? So, But you did, yeah. we did, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's awesome. So, you know, actually, I also learned that you came up with the idea of a cartoon creation on computer-generated systems. How did that come about? I got a computer when I was doing Garbage Pail Kids in, in the 80s, and played around with it and I was studying what computer art looked like and did and and one I was seeing things that were ran, randomly generated like like nonsense uh, words and sentences and articles like Mad Libs would be if, if the computer did it and drawings that the computer could do and I thought all they got to do is combine the stuff and, and that would make a comic strip but nobody's doing it so I thought okay I got to learn a little bit of code and got some books on it and for a while I was totally puzzled because it, until I just found a really simple way and I thought okay just let's just make the dumbest stupidest simplest cartoons I could make and and after, so I got these little stick little balloon figure that I made uh, simple shapes and some sentences that it would pop up above his head this this was with a laser printer in black and white in the, in the days that I was working and yeah, how long did that take you? Because, you know, it's just kind of like coming up with some kind of code. And, you know, Karen must have been mad because you must have been in the, you know, working so long and not, you know. And I, you know what I said to John, which is like, like amazing. But I, I said, you know, John, every time you're doing some imagery, you're like, re you have to carve out a pencil. To do it, it takes so long, yeah. you know. Now, of course, he, he can do, you know, he can do one print in like, three seconds or something like that? But how long did it take originally? Well, it, it took a few, took me a few months to just figure out how to put the early early one together, but then it was so fun because all of a sudden these things were popping out of my laser printer, the little complete comic strips that were, 
I mean, they were really stupid, but but it was magical. And and then, and then I started learning how do you do more than one page of this? How do you add some color? Um, I found a local newspaper that would print these experimental works. I just started doing posters for art print for art shows. Yeah, and that's great. You know, all from this spark of imagination, and all of a sudden something became like a whole cartoon strip. I think that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, and then the, one of the most recent things is I found that you can do uh, print-on-demand books online. So I just have my code generate a book's worth of art and and a few covers to pick from, and then I put them and I go have it send have them send me a copy. When, and then I, then I just pick out the good pictures. Very cool. <laughs> well, thank you two so much for speaking with us. I mean, everyone loves you. I had to wait in line just to speak with you two, you know? So, you know, it's such a pleasure speaking with you and learning about your tracks, both of you together as artists. Thank you. Uh -huh. thank you. And sometime you should see Karen's work. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's, let's do that. You want to see? Do you have it now? Okay, next time. Well, thank you guys so much. This is Katrina with IDA TV.